or loud. Uh, Jerusalem book is here, so if you're online watching, send me uh, an address through an email, and I'll send you a copy of the Jerusalem book, 312 pages, colored photos, and uh, we've got plenty of them that we're handing out. Uh, we are in the book of Mark, chapter 2. Uh, Tony, I need a, some notes. These are the notes right here. Nope. Uh, we started off last week with the first of the five conflicts that Jesus has. We went through first of where he had five demonstrations of his authority as, as the Son of God, the Son of Man, as the Messiah. And remember, he's shying away from the title of Messiah. And what you start see him using in the book of Mark is the title Son of Man, which is going to mean that it is God in the flesh, that God has become the seed of the woman, that he is a man, but he's doing the work of the Messiah. But when you say Messiah, at this time in history, it's got this baggage that comes with it that means a military figure that's going to overthrow Rome. And all of a sudden now, Jesus' conflict is no longer just with the spiritual kingdom that he's come against the kingdom of Satan, but it's against the Roman, the physical powers of the government, and that's not what he's coming for. So we had five demonstrations of his authority which included calling the disciples uh, he, of authority over disease, authority over uh, the demons, even the demons wanting to talk, and he would not let them speak because he wants to identify his own ministry. Well, as he identifies it uh, and he begins to teach, one of the things he's doing is he's got teaching with authority, not so much just uh, a scholar quoting all the other scholars of the ages. He's explaining the text of Scripture and doing it with authority. And so that brings out the scribes. And the scribes that we I identify here, they are the teachers of Israel, the teachers of the law, or uh, 